Hey guys, so this is um, my Virtual Boy review, collection overview, all that stuff. Uh, before I start, I'm going to give you a quick uh, history lesson on the Virtual Boy. It was basically Nintendo's biggest flop. It came out in 1995 and was also discontinued in 1995, the day after my birthday, which was December 21st, 1995. It was discontinued on the 22nd. Um, basically, the, it, it was discontinued for many reasons, the first of which was the display. It was two screens, each of them was meant, meant to show an image to your uh, eyes and, you know, like, it made it 3D. And it really did, you know, don't get don't get me wrong, it, it was amazing. It, like, I, I played a, a lot of games on it, and it really looks great. But, uh, not only that, though, it was very awkward. See, what, what you would have to do is you'd have to put it down on something, then look into it, you know, totally disregarding everything going on around you, and just play. So, you know, not only was it awkward for your eyes, it was awkward to play bad, to be a handheld, all that stuff. Um, so yeah, but no, not just that, like, uh, a lot of people think the Virtual Boy was just bad, but it was really because Nintendo, I guess they, you could say they went too advanced in technology, to a certain extent. You know, they used LED, uh, an LED dis monochrome display and it was pretty expensive so they had to stick with one color they stuck with red it had the most most shades you know most shades best in 3d and it um, took up the le least battery so uh, I'll go in order uh, in my games I'll go in order from the rarest from, sorry from least rare and least playable all that stuff to most rare slash most playable of course, there'll be some kind of ones in the wrong place because they're either rarer than I believe, you know, all that stuff. So basically, starting off with the V Tetris. The V Tetris is uh, it's a J Japanese game, as you can see, Japan. Um, and basically, it's just 2D Tetris on the Virtual Boy. There's, you know, I don't really have much to say about it. You know, really, it's just 2D Tetris on the Virtual Boy. Galactic Pinball. It's a lot of fun, uh, you know, it's pinball, but, you know, other than the fact that, it, you know, I'm already, you'd already have a Virtual Boy out, there's no point in really playing it on a Virtual Boy. There's nothing that special about it. Instead of being 2D, it's slanted, so the ball rolls up and down like that. That's all that's different about it. And boring stages. Mario Tennis. Um, I love the game, you know. It's, it, the reason it's so high on the list is just because it's not rare at all. You know, came with most Virtual Boys. Uh, my Virtual Boy is actually complete in the box, but the box is upstairs under all my Super Nintendo games. I didn't want to have to get that out of there. Um, and on it, you know, it included Mario Tennis. Uh, that being said, it's it's a lot of fun. You know, it's very playable. Uh, you can kind of stick with it, and you know, that it's Mario Tennis. I don't think I've ever played a bad Mario Tennis game. Next up, Wario Land. Wario Land is a very fun game. It's a platformer, like all Wario Lands, Wario Worlds, whatever. And basically, your Wario just going through like evil stages. You know, it's pretty pretty simple, but it's a lot of fun. I do recommend that you get it. That's Wario Land. Next up, a game that I find a lot of fun. It uses both D pads on the uh, Virtual Boy controller, which I of course forgot to show you. Right there. So as you can see, the trigger buttons are very well placed. They're really easy to use. Probably the, my favorite trigger buttons other than the GameCube. Uh, it has two D-pads. Which uh, was pretty cool because, you know, it came out after the Super Nintendo, I believe. Which So that was pretty different, you know. Uh, start and select power. As you can see, the AC adapter is connected to it. And A and B. So good controller. Anyways, and so this game made use of the the, the dual D-pads, and uh, basically, you know, you can use it for different punches, different blocks, all that stuff. It's a really fun game. I understand why it's on the Virtual Boy. It really helps with depth and all that. I do recommend this game. Probably one of my favorite on the console. Next up is Vertical Force. This game is just like any space shooter, whatever you want to call them. Um, you know, like like um, 1943 and all that. And basically, uh, there are two levels. You know, like. Normally it would just be one level and you just move side to side up and down. But this one you can do that, but you can also move front to back and up and down. So it adds a whole other level of gameplay and strategy and it's really amazing. Like at first I thought it would just be, you know, harder. Or, you know, you'd have to kind of be two places at once. 
but really it makes the game a lot more fun and interesting. The only complaint I have with that is that um, when an enemy is small, sometimes it's hard to tell if it's the front or the back. Uh, then you have Panic Bomber. I have the Japanese version of this game. The picture that just slid by is of the American release. As you can see, it's all Japanese on mine because I got them from a lot uh, from on eBay uh, from France. Anyways, um, that doesn't explain why they're Japanese. That one's a lot of fun. It's kind of like a Tetris-esque game. It's, uh, you know, like you have bombs and you place them. It's 2D. doesn't need to be on the Virtual Boy. You know, I think had it been on, like, the 64 or the Super Nintendo, it would have been an amazing seller. Was it? I don't think it was. Um, and it's, it's just a lot of fun. It's not, it's not like Bomberman. It's like a puzzle-ish. I don't know. It's a, it's a lot of fun. I recommend you check it out. It's kind of hard to explain, so, you know, look up, look it up. Uh, second to last, uh, th 3D Tetris. Tetris. Uh, I, just, I just played this. That's why the, cover, uh, the dust cover was off. It's, uh, this one deserves to be on the Virtual Boy. This one, let's say my, my, uh, this flashlight here is my Tetris board. Not only can you do up, you know, you place it like this, but you can also place it like this. So it's basically like it's called 3D Tetris. There are three dimensions, you know, like this, like this, and depth. And so that, uh, it, it, of course, because of that, it has to move a lot slower since there are a lot more things to think about, you know, but it's a lot of fun. And any Tetris fan should definitely check that game out and play it for sure. Uh, the most valuable game on the Virtual Boy. Not my favorite game, but it's at the top of the list because it's just rare. Jack Bros. It's uh, it's it's fun, you know. I I would play it on a you know on an, a Super Nintendo, but I just don't. I don't generally like taking my Virtual Boy out just to play Jack Bros because it's not you know it's not an amazing game. It's fun though. Basically, it's like a you know, puzzle where you have to go around and get the key, you go to the lower level. The bosses are really interesting though. I recommend you check it out. If you get a chance. Um so yeah, that is my um my Virtual Boy overview. Uh to conclude, I really like the Virtual Boy. Uh it's a lot better than I thought. I love I love the console, you know. Anybody who disliked it and I, you know, gave it to them to play, they suddenly were like, Wow, not not so bad. Because yeah, the three D effects do work. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe and like and favorite. I really need those subscribers. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. See ya. Oh, actually, a quick note. Um, I'm going to be getting a new camera for both RetroQuest and pickups and, and videos like this. So, you know, just, just keep watching and I'll get better at the videos. Okay? Thanks for watching. Bye.